we're on our third chart. We're going to create a pie graph with these elements, elements in the human body. Let me see what percent is oxygen, carbon, and we'll figure it out. So I've already gone and typed the information in here. I've created chart three. Okay, I want to wrap this text. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go format, and I'll wrap this text. So text wrapping, wrap. That looks a little bit better. I'm going to highlight all this, and we'll just put the borders around it. So I'll click on all the borders, and up here I'll highlight, and we'll fill. And we filled it. Now, creating a pie graph. I'm going to highlight all this. I'm going to click on, on this guy here. And so it's a bar graph, because the last thing we created was a bar graph. So we're going to switch it here. We're going to go up high here to customize the chart. We're going to do a pie graph. There we create a nice pie graph. I'm just going to move it to the side and move over so it doesn't cover my table. So here's my pie graph. Now I'm going to show you how to make some changes here. So we're going to customize it. Chart style. So let's see. Maximize. Nah, I think I, I like the title there and I like having this information. 3D looks pretty neat in 3D. So I don't mind if you do a 3D. Okay. You can change the background color if you want. So that's what the chart style is. Okay, let's take a look at the pie chart. Okay, ah, donut hole. Let's take a look. 25% well, creates a little hole. Let's increase that. 50 creates a hole. I'm not a big fan of these donut holes. I kind of like them to be all the way through. I don't mind the 3D. Okay, slice labels. Let's take a look. We won't add any slice labels. We're fine. So that donut was the only main thing. We can change the border color if we wanted to. Okay, we're going to switch over. Pie slice. Now, I like this one here. So color. So let's say oxygen. Okay, we'll keep it as blue. Let's say I don't like this kind of orangey one, the hydrogen. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to switch to the hydrogen. Okay, now it would be neat. If you had certain colors, Yeah, I would match the colors and make them that color. But right now, I'm going to change the hydrogen. So I'm going to change this one right here. And let's do a pink, hot pink right there. So now we got hot pink as opposed to that orangey color I didn't like. And I can change them all. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at oxygen. It's their biggest one. Oxygen. Let's distance from the center. Let's move it. Ah, so we've moved it. We separate it from the center. See, we separate it. Maybe we'll separate another. Maybe that orange one. Wait, we'll switch over here. So, oh. That's the next biggest one. Uh, we had oxygen. Let's go to carbon. Let's also move it to 25%. Oh no, and there's Pac Man eating his two slices of pie. Hungry Pac Man's got his mouth open. Okay, let's just change it back. I don't mind moving them all out. So if you wanted, I'd actually move them all out by 25%, but I'll just leave them all as uh, zero. So go to the oxygen. And I kind of like them like this. But if you move them all out, I'd move them all by the same percent out. Okay, chart title and axis. So I actually don't like this. I'm just going to change this here. Or you can change it in there. Sometimes it's easier just to change it with the title in here. So elements in the human body. I guess I'll change that. So you could change it here and make it bold if you want. It's up to you. Okay, legend. Now this is important. Okay, position. So let's take a look. Let's change it. Okay, let's put it on the bottom. Oh, all the little colors go on the bottom. Let's see what else we got. Top. Okay, below the title. I kind of prefer either left or the right. So either on the left, I actually like it on the right, or the way it was initially. Or I don't mind it labeled. I actually don't mind each of the things pointing to each one and labeling them. But my. My two favorites is the labeled or to the right. I like to have these on the right and the color matching on the right. Again, you can take this and you can cut and paste it. And you can close this X here and cut and paste that into a doc. You can always reopen that and edit the chart some more. You can delete the chart there. You can cut and paste it into a different doc. Okay, I hope that helps you create some cool pie graphs. Uh, you can do some in 3D and you can do some in two dimensions.